Daily Mass Readings First Reading A reading from the second letter to Timothy You have followed my teaching, way of life, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings, such as happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, persecutions that I endured. Yet from all these things the Lord delivered me. In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceivers and deceived. But you remain faithful to what you have learned and believed because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. Responsorial Psalm O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Though my persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your just ordinances is everlasting. Princes, persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. Those who love your law have great peace, and for them there is no stumbling block. I wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you. A Proclamation of the Holy Gospel According to Mark As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the Son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. 